On Wednesday, we noted that in order to please God and go to heaven, we must believe in God and that Jesus is his son. Yesterday, we talked about the fact that we are expected to repent of our sins. Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. But is there anything else that is expected of us if we're going to please God and make it to heaven? Well, we read that Jesus expects us to confess his name before men. In Matthew 10, verses 32 through 33, he says, Therefore, whoever confesses me before men, him I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Friends, simply put, if we deny Christ we're going to be lost. We cannot be ashamed to let others know that we believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus says in Mark 8 and verse 38, For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him the Son of Man also will be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. So friends, simply put, if we are ashamed of Jesus, then he is going to be ashamed of us. And anyone that Jesus is ashamed of is not going to go to heaven. Now there are several examples of people confessing their faith in Christ in the Bible. One is found in Matthew 16, verses 16 and 17. There, Peter answered and said, You are the Christ the Son of the living God. Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. So we see that Christ was pleased with the confession that Peter made, just as he will be pleased with ours as well. We then come to Acts chapter 8, verses 36 and 37. Here we find a man of Ethiop from Ethiopia, who had traveled to Jerusalem to worship, and he was traveling back home. And as he traveled along the way, a young evangelist, a man by the name of Philip, was sent to him by God to expound the gospel unto him. Well, as he was traveling along the way, Philip met him, got into the chariot with him, and began to teach him the word of God. This man, a eunuch of Ethiopia, was reading from the book of Isaiah. And we're told that Philip started at that very place and preached unto him Jesus. Well, as they traveled along, after the eunuch had the gospel proclaimed to him, they came to a certain spot. And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me from being baptized? And Philip said, If you believe with all your heart, you may. And he answered and he said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Friends, here we see that we must believe with all of our heart that Jesus is the Son of God. We cannot be ashamed to make that confession to others before we're baptized, but also from that point forward. Our life must be a constant confession of our faith in Jesus Christ. This point that Jesus is making that we cannot be ashamed of him, friends, this is not just a one-time thing. This is something that must be a lifelong commitment, a lifelong practice for us that we are not ashamed to proclaim our faith that Jesus is the Son of God. We must be willing from the first time we make that confession until the time that we breathe our last to make sure that our life is a constant profession of our faith in Jesus Christ. And so today, are you willing to make that confession? Are you willing to let others know that you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? Friends, please think about these things. Consider them in light of your current spiritual condition and have a blessed day.